a significant decade in American history, the 1940s saw the nation undergo major changes as a result of World War II. In these circumstances, gas stations became iconic representatives of American life, acting as important centers for transportation, friendship, and convenience. In this video, we explore the lively world of gas stations in the 1940s, learning about their social function, the services they supplied, and the distinctive experiences they offered to both tourists and locals. The 1940s witnessed a significant rise in the number of gas stations across America as automobiles became increasingly popular. By the early 1940s, there were approximately 150,000 gas stations spread throughout the country, serving the needs of motorists on both urban and rural roads. Gas stations in the 1940s featured different architectural styles that reflected the prevailing design trends of the time. Streamlined designs were particularly popular, characterized by curved forms, smooth lines, and large glass windows. During this time, gas stations provided a variety of services alongside fuel. Full-service stations were common, with uniformed staff members eager to help customers. As cars drew up, attendants would run over to them to offer a variety of services, like filling the tank, checking the oil, wiping the windows, and inflating the tires. Drivers had a sense of luxury and convenience because of this individualized and attentive service which also made sure their cars were taken care of while they were on the road. Leaded gasoline was the most common fuel available at petrol stations during that time. Leaded gasoline, which has a high octane rating and can avoid engine knocking, was the common fuel type at the time. Typically, gas stations had various fuel pumps, allowing drivers to select different octane levels based on the needs of their particular vehicle. When fuel was limited during the war, gas stations were also essential for the distribution of gasoline. Gasoline had to be purchased with rationing coupons, and workers at gas stations had to carefully track and check each customer's distribution of coupons to make sure it was fair. Along key routes, gas stations were placed strategically to provide easy access for drivers. In addition to fuel, these stations offered a variety of other services to make the trip comfortable and hassle-free. Particular uniforms were what gave stations a polished appearance. Smartly attired attendants greeted clients, filled up their cars with fuel, and offered to check their oil and tire pressure. Many gas stations included service bays where mechanics worked to keep cars in top shape by performing maintenance and repairs. Gas stations understood how important it was to give customers access to basic services along with automotive services. On lengthy journeys, travelers might refresh and relieve themselves in the restrooms. Some gas stations even had picnic spaces and outdoor seats so that drivers could relax, eat a packed lunch, or just take in the view. To attract customers, gas stations implemented various promotional strategies. They advertised competitive fuel prices, special discounts, and loyalty programs to build customer loyalty. Many stations partnered with oil companies, featuring their branding prominently on signs and pumps. Some gas stations even offered unique attractions such as novelty architecture, roadside attractions, or souvenir shops, turning pit stops into memorable experiences. In the 1940s, gas stations served as true centers for essentials, providing a wide range of goods and services. To meet the demands of drivers, these stations stocked fundamental auto supplies. Motor oil, which is essential for engine upkeep, was easily accessible, allowing drivers to maintain the smooth operation of their cars. Additionally, tire options were available at gas stations, giving customers options for replacement or repair in the event of a flat or worn-out tire. To further support motorists, gas stations had spare parts on hand, such as belts, hoses, and spark plugs, which were essential for minor repairs and replacements. This allowed drivers to address common issues quickly without having to visit a specialized auto shop. Additionally, gas stations employed skilled mechanics who were available to provide immediate assistance for minor vehicle repairs, including changing a battery, fixing a faulty ignition, or adjusting brakes. These on-site mechanics were well-versed in diagnosing and resolving common automobile issues, ensuring that travelers could get back on the road promptly. 
the availability of these supplies and the presence of skilled mechanics at gas stations during the 1940s provided a sense of convenience and reassurance for motorists. In small towns and rural areas, these stations played a vital role in fostering social connections and creating a sense of belonging. Locals would frequently gather at gas stations, whether it was to fuel up their vehicles or simply to engage in friendly conversation. The stations often had seating areas or benches where people could relax and engage in casual interactions. It was common for neighbors, friends, and even strangers passing through town to strike up conversations, exchange stories, and share updates on local events. In addition to serving as informal information hubs, gas stations served as places where residents could stay current on stories and news. To talk about current affairs, sports, and local happenings, locals frequently gathered at the stations. Before there was widespread access to television and the internet, gas stations were important centers of communication that allowed people to keep connected and informed about the world outside of their immediate environments. Furthermore, gas station owners and attendants played key roles in nurturing a sense of community. They often knew their customers by name, offering personalized service and building relationships based on trust and familiarity. In many cases, gas station owners would actively support local initiatives and events, sponsoring little league teams or contributing to community fundraisers. This further solidified their position as valued members of the community. The iconic design was also an attraction of these gas stations. Even in the 1940s era, these stations were known for their unique architecture and design, which embodied the spirit of the era. Streamlined designs, inspired by the Art Deco and streamlined modern movements, were particularly prevalent during this time. These designs aimed to convey a sense of modernity, efficiency, and progress. Gas stations often featured curved forms, smooth lines, and aerodynamic shapes that mimicked the sleekness of automobiles. Large glass panels adorned the stations, allowing ample natural light to filter in and providing a clear view of the services and products offered inside. The use of glass also created a sense of transparency, emphasizing a welcoming and customer-oriented approach. To catch the attention of passing motorists, gas stations incorporated vibrant neon signs that showcased the station's name and advertised fuel prices. These signs not only served as functional markers, but also added a touch of glamour and spectacle, particularly at night. Neon lights illuminated the surrounding area, creating a visually striking and memorable experience for travelers. Some gas stations in the 1940s even adopted unique thematic designs to stand out from their competitors. Stations shaped like teapots, airplanes, or other eye-catching objects were not uncommon. These novelty designs aimed to attract attention and create a sense of intrigue, making the gas stations destinations in themselves, rather than just places to refuel. Gas station attendants were known for their smart and professional uniforms. Attendants typically wore matching outfits, often consisting of coveralls or a shirt with matching trousers. These uniforms not only helped to identify the attendants, but also added a touch of professionalism and made them easily recognizable to customers. The 1940s also brought about changes in the workforce due to the war effort, and gas stations were not exempt. With many men serving in the military, women took on various roles at gas stations, including attending fuel pumps, performing mechanical work, and managing the daily operations of the station. This shift marked a significant step toward gender equality and showcased the resilience and adaptability of American women during this period. In the 1940s, gas stations adapted to the technological advancements in the automotive industry by expanding their services. One notable advancement was the introduction of engine tune-ups. Gas stations employed skilled mechanics who could fine-tune engines, ensuring optimal performance and fuel efficiency. Tune-ups involved adjusting ignition timing, carburetor settings, and spark plug gaps, as well as inspecting and replacing worn-out components. These services helped vehicles run more smoothly and effectively, prolonging their lifespan. Lubrication services were also offered at gas stations during this era. Mechanics would grease the necessary parts of a vehicle, including the chassis fittings and wheel bearings, to minimize friction and extend the life of the moving components. 
Regular lubrication prevented excessive wear and tear, enhancing the overall performance and durability of the vehicle. Gas stations began to recognize the value of tire maintenance and rotations. Tire rotations involved moving the tires from one position to another on the vehicle, promoting even wear and maximizing their lifespan. Stations employed mechanics who could assess tire conditions, perform rotations, and even repair punctures or replace worn-out tires. Moreover, some gas stations introduced car wash facilities to meet the growing demand for vehicle cleanliness. Customers could have their vehicles washed, rinsed, and sometimes even waxed while they refueled. These car wash services ensured that vehicles not only ran efficiently, but also maintained a clean and polished appearance. Beyond their practical functions, gas stations embodied the dreams and aspirations of Americans. In an era defined by economic recovery and the pursuit of the American dream, these stations represented mobility, progress, and opportunity. They were the starting points for grand adventures, cross-country road trips, and new beginnings. Gas stations held the promise of exploration, capturing the imagination of travelers as they embarked on journeys through the vast and diverse landscapes of the United States. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about it? Let us know in the comments section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.